You know him from Louie and Master of None. Please welcome Todd Barry. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Thanks for making it through the storm, I guess. Oh, you know, it's the least I could do. <laughs> well, I don't even know well, what I don't that means. I don't know what that means. No. <laughs> you, know, you know Neil Tyson, right? I do, I got yeah. a picture of you guys here. Is this, uh, what is this from? That's from a show we did for MSG Network. Really? And, uh, uh-huh. It's just interesting, both of us here tonight, because it's just weird to have two astrophysicists on the same show, I think. <laughs> <laughs> this actually says Neil Tyson. I like this. It says, this says Neil Tyson. This says... Comedian. It says, Neil Tyson, astrophysicist, Todd Berry, comedian. We all have our strengths. Exactly. Um, well, uh, you actually have a new book. Yeah, I do. Called Thank You for Coming to Hattiesburg. Right. Okay. I wanted a title that wouldn't fit in a tweet. <laughs> Why are you thanking people to come to Hattiesburg? Oh, because I, uh, they thank me, actually. Oh, okay. No, it's about doing smaller market cities, and when you go do a, show, a city there, a smaller market, there they can't believe you're there, so they say things like, "Thank you for coming to Hattiesburg." Because they wouldn't imagine anybody would come. There. Yeah, I mean, it's like if you do a show in Chicago, they're not going, "Oh my God, I can't believe you came to Chicago." <laughs> but Hattiesburg, they're like, "I can't believe you came to Hattiesburg." What is that? What's your favorite small town that you didn't think you would love? Because I, I toured around the country for years and years and years when I was a young, a young, a, a young comedian in a 16-passenger van. Seriously? Oh, yeah, yeah. With the second city, like in a 16-passenger okay. si van. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of the favorite city. Let's Rangeley, say Colorado. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> no, I'm just playing along. You, uh, you ever tour with Jon Stewart when you're out on the road? I did, actually. Years ago, Jon Stewart and I used to do colleges together, and um, there was a time he got mad at me. I, I talk about this. John got mad at you? Yeah, we were driving to Ithaca College. Yeah, yeah. I loaded up the audience with Ithaca College. Yes. Mm -hmm. I invited a bunch of people. But I, um, yeah, we were driving. It's like a four hour drive, and we're listening to the radio. I think this is when you would listen to the radio. And a Dave Matthews band and song came on, and he was clearly enjoying it. And I'm punk rock, so I wasn't enjoying it. <laughs> so this Dave Matthews band song comes on, and he's enjoying it, singing along. Then a few hours later, we're driving, and it comes on again. So I feel like, oh, I don't, we don't need to hear this again. And I reached and I changed and he got so angry with me. It was like, it's like the way I get when someone reaches for one of my onion rings or something. Yeah, I don't like that guy. <laughs> but do you have his Hotmail address? I'd like to smooth things over. I do. Can we get, can we, let's put up the lower third here. Let's put up John's email address in the lower third here. So everybody can email John. Mm -hmm. So you went to my hometown of Charleston, South Carolina in this book too. I did. And this I... is, this, is uh, this chapter right here. Very interesting to me, right here. What's this? Uh, where is this? Where is this one here? It says uh, the Satilli Theater, is what it says. You played the Satilli Theater? I did. It wasn't full. But... It wasn't full. <laughs> I met my wife at the Satilli Theater. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got very happy memories. Do you have happy memories at the Satilli Theater? I do have happy memories of Charleston. I um, and the show was quite good, but the. Uh, if you I just say like to... so yourself. Let me rephrase that. The audience was great. <laughs> I did what I could. <laughs> they, uh, th I dove pretty heartily into the uh, food culture. I'm kind of a foodie, so I actually have, I think that's a picture of the best thing I had. This in, uh, is a Carlton, picture. Yeah. My, my hometown is famous yeah. and very proud of its southern cuisine. Mm -hmm. And this is, you said, this is the best meal you had in yeah. Charleston. It's... This is a styrofoam container with a baked potato in yes. it. <laughs> That was at the... Why uh, was this? It's not even a... It's a dry baked potato. You haven't even opened the little Land O'Lakes butter pack. I was just... In the background. I was just so excited to take a picture of it. I didn't wait for that. But I... That's from the Charleston airport, and I was just very excited. Oh, the food out there is amazing. <laughs> Have you just, tried this uh, local thing? Have you tried Panda Express? It's just... Oh. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. We do this pizza for this place called Zbarro. Oh. But, um... Incredible. That picture is actually in the book, and believe it or not, the publishers did not want the baked potato picture in there. They said it was boring. 
They didn't think that would move, no, that would move paper, a yeah, photo of a baked potato? You got potato? the color version. It's black and white in the book. So. <laughs> Let's see how exciting it gets in, the, in this. Hold on. Yeah. Now. <laughs> now that's an exciting photograph. Mm -hmm. The version I gave you, the spring onions really pop more. Yeah. <laughs> well, Todd, lovely to have you here. Thank you for having me. The book, uh, Thank You for Coming to Hattiesburg, is available now. Actually, it's released today. Yeah, it's released today. Congratulations on the book. Todd Barry, everybody.